In this lecture, we will define the templates or the HTML pages for our product templates application. We need two HTML templates here, the index.html which will display the product categories and links and when those links are clicked, it should go to the product details.html that will show the details of electronics. That is, when they click on electronics, it should simply so show the electronic products like Mac iPhone and Dell. If they click on toys, it should show say remote car, a drone and a rocket launcher. And if they click on shoes, it can display something like Nike, Adidas and Reebok. So the data itself will come from the view which you will create later. But for now, we'll create two different templates, the index.html and products.html. Go back to Atom, go to the templates directory right click we can create the html files directly under this because here we have only one application when we have multiple applications within a project it is always a good practice to create a application specific folder under templates you are welcome to create product app inside this template let's try that new folder say product app or you can also put them directly under templates so product app right click new file index.html is the file name and atom will help you out if you try typing in html if you select this automatically it will give you everything take out the extra less than symbol there the very first step if you want to load any static files here you know how to do it i'm going to give it for you braces percentage percentage load static files this will be helpful for you later on to work on the assignment i want you to include some styles etc go into the body add a h1 if you select automatically that will add it this less than symbol is something you can take out say welcome to our e-commerce portal or online shopping portal you're not going to implement the online shopping here it's a very simple example a part of it add a ul unordered list close it right there and within this ul we'll have a li the first hyperlink will go inside it close that li right there define a href is equal to within double quotes slash the first type of products are electronics close that guy right there close the anchor tag and within this we say electronics e capital so if the user clicks on this link it should display all the electronic products that we are selling copy that line paste it two more times the second one is uh, toys toys and the third one is shoes save it make sure we have the proper alignment here so that is the very first view it's very simple it simply provides three links here electronics toys and shoes the second view is the one which will display the products for us the second template right click new file call it products.html again if you start typing in html let's try this html then we don't have the less than symbol problem instead of typing less than symbol simply type html and it will give you all this within the body we're going to display the products here so first h1 close the h1 Within this H1, we'll display the message which the view will send us. We can call this a heading and you, we have put it inside H1. So this heading will come from the view later on. This is a very generic view which can display the electronic products. It can display the toys. It can display the shoes based on what data is coming. It will display that data. In here, we'll add an unordered list. Select that. If you type in UL, you will get the help. Take that within UL, we'll add a li. Take that guy 
and within the first li we're going to display three different products so call it product one copy that paste it two more times this is product two and this is product three so the view will always send three different products there will be three different views in the back end all those views will uh, use the same template but they'll be sending three different data there will be a view for electronics there will be a view for toys there will be a view for shoes depending on whatever data is sent to this template that will be rendered here if you look at it i haven't added the static files here later on to work on the styling uh, assignment you will have to do that you will have to load the static files if you want to use images etc you will have to use the appropriate tags